Welcome back into sports, everyone. Don't blink, but we're already in the semifinals of the playoffs, and this week is personal for OCS. The Eagles are on a revenge tour this Friday when they lined it up against Southern Lab, the same team that defeated the Eagles in the 2021 state title game. I think our seniors definitely uh, have a sour taste left in their mouth from, from that state championship game their sophomore year. Uh, Southern Lab had a lot of sophomores that played on that team as well. And so, uh, you know, it, it's definitely it's going to be a battle, but our guys are, are hungry, uh, you know, for that opportunity. Both teams are coming in only losing one game, but OCS has been unstoppable, outscoring this year's playoff opponents 112 to 7. Southern Lab won that championship in 2021, 38 to 14 over OCS, but the Eagles feel like they would have been the ones to win that game had their best playmaker been on the field. The former do-it-all senior Tristan Wiley that had over 1,400 receiving yards and 25 combined touchdowns was not able to play due to an injury, and Coach says that played a big part in the outcome of that game, but this week is their opportunity to flip the script. Uh, you know, uh, things are what they are, and, and like I said, he was down with an injury, and when you lose your best offense, defense, and special teams player, uh, you know, it, it impacts your team. But, uh, you know, uh, there are a couple of plays here and there that, that, you know, made a difference in the ball game. You got to play your best game and, and assignments and everything like that uh, every single play in, in a championship game, and, and we didn't do that that day, and they did. And so, uh, you know, again, but that's – Water under the bridge, and, and uh, this team's focused on, you know, doing things right and getting the job done. The Eagles would love nothing more than to erase the recent history and again solidify their spot in the Caesar Superdome to prove that they're still the top dogs of the Bayou. They'll have their chance on Friday. 